I arrived in New York City on a bright, sunny winter day, and I will never forget the drive from the airport to Manhattan. The sun was setting, and it was just an unbelievable sight. Telling you about what my life uh, has been like <laughs> is long and complicated. A life in communist Czechoslovakia was certainly not ideal, to put it, to put it mildly. But uh, somehow, uh, I was accepted to the medical school. And while I was working at the Institute of Virology, I married Maritza, my wife. We knew that there is more to life than what we could experience in communist Czechoslovakia, and together we decided that we would start a new life in the United States. For me, professionally, most of the advances in biomedical research uh, were being made in the United States. Remicade is an artificial antibody that was developed in my laboratory in collaboration with uh, John Ming Lee. It's one of the three best-selling drugs in the world. The Veltrek Foundation has as its main mission to raise public awareness about the contribution of immigrants to biomedical science and the arts. It's the embodiment of the experience that Maritza and I had. Maritza is uh, an art historian and uh, I'm a biomedical scientist. Both Maritza and I fell in love with New York. We love the diversity, we love uh, cultural life. We like to take advantage of the many museums. And if there is one place in the world where you feel at home, that is definitely New York City. Every year we celebrate the anniversary of our arrival to New York. That's a very important day on our calendar. And this year we can add the 50th anniversary of my being at NYU.